So the Real Taste of Spain, I really tried to gather recipes from friends of mine around Spain, um, from people that I met in markets and I chatted to, and really think about the food that people cook in their homes rather than the food that you eat when you go to restaurants. And this is actually a dish which I wanted to cook tonight because to me it's got the three ingredients which absolutely scream Spain. And they are basically pork, peppers and pulses. So I've got peppers in the pot. And then the other thing which is absolutely vital in this dish is chorizo. I've got here, this is a cooking chorizo. And I think a lot of people in this country when they're cooking with chorizo, go and buy one of those kind of rock hard, sort of almost sort of bullet hard um, chorizos that you find in a lot of the supermarkets. And I really recommend when you're cooking with chorizo that you use a really nice soft one like this. So I'm going to throw my um, chorizo into the dish. I can see that all that pork fat is basically rendering down and my onions are turning this fantastic deep orange which is saying to me that the paprika is seeping out and the flavours are all binding together. And so the next thing that I'm going to add is my third um, ingredient which is my beans. You know and I really think pork, peppers, beans, um, you just really can't go wrong. So I'm putting in some tomatoes now, straight out of the tin. As I said, this is a dish, oh, I've got a rubbish bin right under there. Um, this is a dish which is a store cupboard standby dish, um, which can be flung together really in minutes, but ideally you want to leave it stewing away for a little while so that all the flavors can really, really bind together. And the other great thing about adding a tomato to something with a pulse in it is that the acidity of my tomatoes will stop my butter beans collapsing. Oh, I forgot to put the garlic in! What a disaster! <laughs> and I should have put the garlic in when I was um, frying it. Well, we're going to have the garlic in later now, today. We'll see what happens with that. I'm really hoping that you're going to enjoy these butter beans that are just going to melt in your mouth and that the garlic has done its stuff, even though it went in a little later than it was meant to. So um, this kind of dish, I would say anything with beans in, wonderfully quick to put together but actually if you leave it sitting for a few hours then all the flavours all just start to permeate into the beans but do remember that um, paprika which is what is giving that um, chorizo that wonderful peppery flavour has a very good um, reputation for staining people's clothes so hopefully I'm hoping that you all manage to get a slice of chorizo in amongst your beans. Many of the traditional bean recipes and pulse recipes are things which took you know half a day to cook. Thinking of modern day cooking and that's what I hope that this book embraces is dishes that you can throw together quite quickly but still have lots and lots of great flavour.